Hello viewer, um, in this tutorial I will teach you how to do uh, a field depth and add a background because um, I don't know I just kinda wanted to do a tutorial I guess anyways so I'm gonna get everything back to normal in one second and then depth of field Alright, so this is how you do it. You make your scene, you know, get everything queued up in the perspective. From this point, after you know you get your perspective all, you know, everything, uh, basically your scene will look something like this. It's pretty cool, you know, you got your bump map whatever and then from there to get everything I did you add a light an omni light and you add some effects we don't really need the lens effect but you know whatever so basically first add a, a background is what I'm gonna do first go in there uh, you can download any sort of like starry picture from online or you know whatever relates most to your uh you know your video or model or whatever and then you go to the setup and select it for your environment map go to bitmap and then choose whichever photo you like and you render it and well well And it looks good. Wait, what? Alright, I'm having difficulties. Alright, there you go. So you get your background. Um, yeah, that's easy. That's really easy to do. And the second one is going to be more working with like 3D spaces and everything. So to do this, uh, second part, you will go to create, camera, and free. I'm not going to do one because there's already one set up. And I wouldn't want to have to place everything again. So basically what I did. Is I created a camera and got everything situated. And made it look pretty much at my perspective. Like they're the same pretty much. And then what I did. Was I selected the light. Went into the modifier list. Went to the volume light. To the setup. Effects. Added a flat effect. Depth of field, went down, went to pick cam, select that camera, use camera, and use camera. And then you're done. Like, that's all you have to do. From there, you can render it, and all this stuff. And, oh, Jesus. Uh, keep on forgetting to render the perspective. And you open it, and it gives it a nice depth. Like, it starts to blur as it goes back. And I think that looks really nice. Um, so, that's how to make a scene look uh, more realistic, I guess, guys. Um, from there, it's just good modeling and good texturing and bump maps. Alright, well thank you for watching and um, keep on going guys. Thank you for watching.